Hey, how's it going everyone and welcome back to another Bisect Hosting server tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to automatically install a data pack on your Minecraft server. Bisect Hosting makes it extremely easy to automatically install a data pack on your Minecraft server by using our custom control panel. So let's just go ahead and jump right into the tutorial today. The first thing we'll need to do is log into our premium or budget control panel. To do that, you can visit premium or budget.bisecthosting.com and then just select the server you wish to add a data pack to. Okay, so right now I am on my homepage and it is displaying all of my server information. But to get to the data pack side of the control panel, we're just going to click the data packs button here on the left hand side. From there, you should see the data pack menu and it will allow you to show the installed data packs. Uh, right now I have none installed, so it's just empty but I can also view or search for data packs. So let's say I want to search for data packs in the adventure category. I just select adventure and it will show all of the data packs in the adventure category. Now for today's demonstration, I'm gonna be installing Terralith, which is a world generation data pack. So I'm gonna click on world generation and then up here is Terralith 2.0. It's also important to note that some data packs only work for certain versions of Minecraft, and you can see the Minecraft version next to the data pack in blue. So for example, Terralith 2.0 is in Minecraft version 1.18, and the data pack version is 2.0 in green. Now, if you wanna learn more about the data pack, you can easily just click the open data pack website button here on the right hand side in this light blue color. And then if you want to actually install the data pack, you just click the install button. Once you click install, make sure that you answer and fill in the necessary fields that are asked. So for example, uh, for Terralith 2.0, when I click install, it says it requires a new world. So I'm gonna have to enter the name of my new world or I can even enter in the seed. And then I just click install data pack and it will automatically create a new world for me. Now, this is not the case for every data pack. Let's say I wanna install the amplified nether, the one right below it. If I click install, it's going to ask me which world I'd like to install the data pack on. It's important to remember at this point that data packs are only per world, so you can't have a data pack that applies across all your worlds. Let's say if you're using multiverse, you'll have to install the data pack for every world that is connected to your server. So at this point, I'm going to select the world I want to install on. In this case, I'm going to install it on my world, and then I just click the green install data pack button. All right, just give it a few seconds for it to completely install the data pack, and then once it's done, it will say successfully installed data pack, restart the server to apply the changes. So we're going to do exactly just that. We're going to click the green OK button, head back over into the home page, and then just simply restart our server to apply the necessary changes. What's great about the data pack manager is that you can easily head back into the data packs, install new ones, or even manage the current ones that you have installed. So for example, right now I have Amplified Nether, uh, which is for version 1.18 uh, on my world called My World. I can easily uninstall it by clicking the uninstall button. All right, that's going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. If you have any other questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact us on our support tickets, or you can view our complete knowledge base at bisectoasting.com slash KB. If you enjoyed today's video and would like to see more, consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing and comment down below which video you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching.